all in. Gates are back. And they sent on their way to a good start. Sugarberry hustles up in the early stages to get to the early lead. Aerial view keeps the pressure on. A colourful pass three deep the outside gets handy. Nasseria is back against the fence. The orange leaves and Cap Cavian's car. Two lengths away to Hay Siri. Crafty Heart one off the fence. Soft touch a little bit deep. Then we go further back to Silver Slippers who's deeper out racing towards the back of the field with ready to fly. And then comes Maiden's Cove. Field covered by eight lengths as they work their way towards the final 1300 metres. And Sugarberry won the squabble for the lead. She's in front by about two to three lengths over Aerial View, who races second at the outside of Nasseria. Then comes a colourful pass, who's got no luck and continues to travel out deep. Cavian's Cara is one off the fence, and Hayes Siri is in the yellow racing midfield and about five lengths off the leader. Length and a half away to Soft Touch. Then comes Maiden's Cove, Crafty Heart. That bunch are racing further back and running. Then two lengths away to Ready to Fly, and finally Silver Slippers towards the corner of the track with a little over 800 meters left to run. Sugarberry shows the way by two and a half lengths over aerial view. Nasseria just dropped the bit, racing away in third. Hey Siri, then comes a colorful pass. A length and a half back to Cavian's Cara. Soft touches in the pink and blue. That's also three deep and further back and running to Maiden's Cove. Ready to fly. Crafty Heart and Silver Slippers and they swing for home. Just over 400 meters left to run. Sugarberry being in front from the start. Feels pressure from aerial view in the silver and red. Hey series towards the far side then comes soft touch crafty heart trying to work a bit closer that's got three lanes to make up cavian's cara is towards the far side as aerial view shot two lanes clear over hey siri soft touch and then comes crafty heart but aerial view has this one under control aerial view good win second goes to a photo between crafty heart and cavian's cara and then came hey siri in fourth so the winners in the silver and red committed at the top of the straight did aerial view and never looked back. The field were running for second after that. The Tara runners, Cavian's Cara and Crafty Hart involved in a photo for second. Looked like Cavian's Cara just managed to maintain second over Crafty Hart. Hey, Siri was next. There were a few hard luck stories. I don't think the race was run to suit too many of these. But ultimately, I don't think if, uh, if it was run any differently, you'd probably get the same winner. Aerial view, much too... Welcome back to you, Fairview and Aerial View, the winner for the Gavin Smith's table, another winner for them, they're third on the day. I've got Timber, and he's collecting the 1,500 on behalf of the groom, which is Dez. So well done to Dez, and well done to Timber and the entire Gavin Smith's table. Well done, Timber. Thanks, Smith. All right, there we go. That's on behalf of Dez, and thanks very much to World Sports Betting. Louis, come chat to us for the second time. I haven't seen Louis in three weeks, and today, boom, boom, it's back in the winner's box. And let the camera focus in there, face the camera. Winner 99, no, not, this is your 90th winner for the season. And 99 winner, I think, for Gavin Smith as a trainer for the season thus far. But 90th winner, well done. Thank you, Neil. Thank you very much. Um, it's a tough season. Yeah. Um, went off form a little bit for that, but uh, it's almost like three weeks now. Um, but uh, I'm glad to be back here today. You know, it, you know, a, a sportsman as an athlete, um, it's, it's crucial to be on form. Um, you know, it just brings that confidence out of you. You know, you do everything right. You know, whatever you sit on just goes right, you know. So I'm glad to be back again on that because my target for the season was at least 115 winners, you know, but it's still a long time, still a long season, so I can boggle that up. Um, obviously, it's a couple of group ones if I can. But, uh, yeah, just grateful to be standing here, you know, uh, for, for Gavin, you know, and the whole team. Just grateful it was a nice one from this filly. Yes, now, I mean, the feedback will be good because I'm having a look at the form line as well. And this horse moved well enough to post, but what was important was a dropped in class, I think, today. I only picked that up afterwards, but dropped in class and always had a bit of a chance here. Yeah. yeah, no, sure, she always had a bit of a chance, you know, but the, the tricky thing is that yeah, she, had a bit of a, she, had, she had a bad draw and she was getting 61. You know, so it always plays a big factor, you know, um, and she's definitely that race is up handy. So you always think, um, is it going to pan out for you? Um, are you going to use up too much or are you going to, you know, how's it going to pan out? But um, she, she hopped with those pains very easy. She got into position quite comfortable, the pace was honest. Um, when, when the front horse um, had enough, I moved up quite, quite comfortably, I asked her to, to pick it up and uh, everything else was just um, easy from there. It was, a, it was a very good win. Well done to you. 
Thank you, Neil. Uh, just so well done to all the owners involved. I don't want to leave anybody out. I see some supporters here as well. So well done to them. And uh, thank you to my sponsor again, Relatives Bistro. Royal Aces Bistro. They've got two places here in the Eastern Cape, one out in Mount Pleasant and the other one at our big mall. Going to chat to Gavin. They're going to come into picture and chat to Gavin as well. He'll be happy. And Gavin, if we got the stats right, apparently this is your 99th winner for the season. Well done. Apparently so, Neil. Thank you very much, mate. You guys not watching the numbers and the figures out there? Just Hell take no. each day as they come. Each race day as they come and just trying to yeah, get through the week and have as many uh, you know, winners as, uh, for the owners as we can, Neil. All right. Now, what's the feedback with regards to Aerial View? I know you've got one of the owners standing by as well. That's David. But... Um, yeah, that was quite impressive because there were a lot of horses here with chances and carrying top weight, as he said, from a wide draw. Yeah. Neil, none more impressed than me with that win. Um, you know, for her to win from draw 10 with the weight lock she carried and, and to race the way she does up there handy, uh, it was a very gutsy win. And to see her pull away in the straight like that, I was just saying to David, you know, that she doesn't show you a hell of a lot at home. She just does enough at home. She's actually very clever, Philly. She just does enough, idles along, and uh, you just go in her eye and her work and her well-being and... You know, she, she looked an absolute picture today, but I must say, it was an impeccable ride by Louis from that draw. He never flustered her, he never forced her at any stage, and thankfully the pace was on, and where she was, she was totally relaxed and switched off travelling within herself, so she had more to come at the top of the straight. You know, if you've got 61 or 62, Absolutely. and you've got to be niggling at them all the way on this track, you're going to fall in a hole the last little bit, and thankfully enough, she got there easy enough within herself, and I set him down the back, just try and slip up second, third, and uh, he didn't have to do that, she was already there, so it, it worked out really smartly for her and it's just lovely to have David on course, Charmaine's at home looking after the grandkids, passionate about their racing, lovely to have a winner for them. To Sterling, I know he's busy moving, he mate to mine, well done, nice to have another winner for him, for Quinton and to Trevin, well done guys, um, lovely to have a winner for them, they're passionate about their racing and this filly's not going to stop yeah. she's a hard knocker, the last time she ran a good race in, in, a, in a higher company, you That's know, right. against those fillies, yeah. it was a strong field, so um, she's gutsy. Well done to you. Thank you very much, Neil. Chat Thanks, David. To my, thanks to my sponsors, Hollywood. Hollywood, the sponsor of the Gavin Smith Racing Stable. David, the vet coming into the picture. Nice to chat to you again. And wow. We love your racing, and it's good to be in the winner's box with positive uh, feedback coming from both the jockey as well as the trainer. Yes, yeah. Now, look, the last run, um, she ran a very good third, and we said afterwards, next time out, poly track, and 1900, and she's there. The weight was a bit of a factor, and obviously the draw, but I was very, very confident.